Karchul, Chairperson, Media University of Phoenix Industrialization, Mr. Tony Yeo, CEO of Digital Phoenix. We we got like uh, overwhelmed with today's uh, attendees. Honored to uh, have our funding ecosystem uh, partners as well. We have Cradle, we have Kairos. So so long this ABCD, we have something that we can support you and help you to grow together. So we are uh, partners of AWS and security. I think today is also something very important for us. It's very simple. We just want to support the early stage uh, startup. But uh, for records, right? AWS they don't usually give. Especially you at your very early stage. In terms of uh, investment, uh, this move, uh, the digital agenda in the next majority uh, was also an uh, all um, with Adam and others, right? Over the years, uh, you remember uh, at that time we have high our economic activities were centered so much so that at that time to bring in uh, eight pioneers, right? Those names over in the next. Right. Ever since they have uh, five million nation to the time, no cost, Half the time we were in lockdown and it was very challenging. It's what we're looking at. So unknown to you, it, uh, obviously one of the things is to uh, make sure that people uh, adopt technology. As you said, what's the impression of Penang? Uh, uh, Exabyte, we've got uh, Easy Puzzle, we've got Deliver It, there's Food Market Hub, there's Picto Chat that is uh, used today. So the impression is that I see that good foundation ecosystem. I would like to maybe give a certain perspective, you know, uh, about Penang or Malaysia compared to other countries that have actually. Uh, because this champion will actually create. Uh, so I think investors nowadays are very to identify a good startup. You you have great ideas, fantastic ideas, fantastic product, but you are unable to execute your business plan. I kind of always notice you might have good products, you might have a good business plan, but your co-founder tagged up. A, a lot of issues. They work on a problem and they solve it no matter how big the problem is. And they keep on trying and trying and trying, pivot and pivot and pivot and change for the better. So that's the, the number one criteria that I've noticed for uh, most successful founders. And maybe I want to add one part is really a, a very good teamwork. A lot of times when we look at Alibaba, then you say, oh, Jack Ma, yeah, of course, I think Jack Ma is good, he's visionary, but he's actually supported by, you know, when he first started up, 18 of them. Green and uh, pink color, right? Yeah. And now, really big company, big pocket, still continue to survive, right? And that's the chance, you know. <laughs> <laughs> there is uh, high growth startups. Uh, there is also such things as uh, social impact startups, for example. Uh, and, and there's also trust and business. Luxury that uh, we don't have. Um, 
something that us Do you find that you're treated differently? Um, can you name one thing that currently Penang ecosystem, startup ecosystem of Malaysia in general is currently lacking? We as a startup, what are we looking at into? As far as how you able to troubleshoot, you get you put people like UI as designer into your team. So I guess my question is, uh, prior to pandemic, uh, startup ecosystem in Penang further uh, besides tax exemption. A lot of funding, especially at early stage funding, stage is a very risky. The, the lending, the borrowing is still bread and butter, will be more ecosystem and even. Beyond banking is our new tagline now, okay? We are very strong in ASEAN countries, we have 100 over systems, we have around 300 plus in Malaysia to continue the digital tool. This one is job transform program.